Hi everyone. Happy Thursday evening. Well, that evening sun is bright. Uh, let's see, let's see, there's already some of you here. Let's see, hi Brooke and Emily. Oh no worries, Kelly. I'm sure you got an infection though. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> um, but hopefully you feel better. Oh, you sent me the email. That that's good to know. I will take a look. I'm really behind on emails. Um, yeah, like this this evening has been quite crazy. I was getting all the kids ready because all three have sports this evening, and I'm making my husband endure it. <laughs> so uh, there's ads to get in the stream. Hmm. Sometimes it makes you watch an ad to get in, but it shouldn't like throughout the stream. I don't know. I didn't turn them on. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, so um, is the mic a little crackly? It could be. We'll see if it improves. Um, but yeah, so busy evening for us. I had to get everyone ready because we have, my son has soccer at 630. My daughter has gymnastics at 6.30, and then my other daughter has ballet at 6.15. So, kind of weird. It is crackling. Hmm. Let's see. Hi, Kathleen and Erin and PJB and all those that are coming in. Um, I am streaming through StreamYard today. So... I am not sure why it would be all funky. Let's see. Hi, Shannon. I guess we'll have to see if it improves. I really don't want to restart the stream unless I absolutely have to. So let me check my mic settings. It might just be ultra sensitive right now. So we can just play around with that real quick. Oops. And we'll zoom in while we're at it. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, is it still all crackly? Might have to. Let me see. Because my headset is downstairs, but I can go get it if I have to. Uh, let me see. One sec. I don't know if it's my mic or if it's. StreamYard. Let me see if this other mic will work better. Just don't know how much. battery power. All right, let me see if this one will. All my kids are gone, actually, because they to go to their sports. <laughs> so let me switch. Um, I don't know what sound is pretty, but maybe it'll fix the issue. Uh, let's see. I don't know if this one's going to sound any, well, if this is crackly or not. Let me know if this mic is crackly. Um, so I just switched to my headset, but we'll see if that's any better. Yeah, all the kids are gone. They left other sports. So, okay. So then it's my camera being stupid. All right. Well. Let's hope that this headset has enough battery. <laughs> In fact, I should probably check and see how much battery it's got left because that'll be right. Oh, we're at 80%. We're pretty good. Okay. So, yeah. Um, left the house to myself for a little bit. But as you guys know, I'm doing the Yana in July. Hashtag with Erica over at Elm Colors. 
Hi everyone that came in while I was screwing around with my mic and <laughs> I missed it. But I wanted to show you guys. So probably this Sunday I'm going to do another like round stream because I have um well I have a crap ton of pages that need rounds. And they're all Yana pages. So I've got this cute gal. I don't think I did this one on stream, but this was with Murder. So I've got a do a background on her. I've got this one as well that really needs a background because otherwise she's just floating out there. <laughs> so, well, I got this one that doesn't need a background because this is a foobar. I missed this one down here. It's hard to tell, but I don't know. I got to do some more racing and see if I can come back to this one. But I've got this one done as well. She just needs a background. I call her the rainbow fairy because I did not mean to do rainbow colors, but that's just the way it turned out. So oh well. Then I got this one as well that needs a background. I just uh, yeah, really like to wait on those backgrounds, don't I? This is that tea fairy one. I can adjust my color because it looks like her skin is white and uh, she has color in there. So let me fix this real quick. God, I love it. That is just ugly, uglier. <laughs> Where is my, oh, it's because my camera reset all of its lovely little things. How awesome is that? So let me fix that because we don't want all these crazies on here. Don't you love when your camera, oops, your camera resets its colors? I sure do. And then I'll just try not to make myself look orangey. I don't want to mess around with it too much, but I am swatching things today, so it would be kind of nice if the camera had a little. All right. Um. So yeah, I've got this little tea fairy. I need to look up the books these all came from. And then I've got this one here that I've got to do the background on, and then this one from that stream. So I have like. I don't even know how many is that one. Two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. So yeah, we'll probably do a background stream on Sunday and do a few different types of backgrounds for all of these Yana pages. So today we are going to play around and swatch. I don't know about you guys, but for Prime Day, I actually didn't look for much in the art supply realm. However, <laughs> these were on my list. And um, these are the Color 50 metallic pencils, which is something I never thought I would put on a list, let alone buy, but I did it. Um, and they went on sale for Prime Day, so I bought them. And yeah, we're gonna swatch these today, check them out see what they're all about. I mean, 50 freaking metallic pencils. Yeah, the tint is really pretty. Um, and then I got a chart. So a tailored image, also known as Stacy on Etsy, has already created a swatch chart for it too. <laughs> I was like, sweet, I don't have to. Um, I don't know if these come in color order or anything like that. Oh, hi, camera. Let's just do an autofocus. Um, so yeah, we are going to check it out today and see what it's all about. But does anyone have these? I know, uh, gosh, when I was watching the 300, I know a few people had said they had purchased the 50 piece or already had the 50 piece, but I'm curious if anyone already has them or if anyone got them as Prime Day because it was a pretty good deal. So let's take a look at the pencils first. It does have this, oh, this metal tin that really is on there, that's for sure. Um, all right, so it includes a swatch chart, pretty much. Let's see. No, but it's not in the order that the one um, from Tailored Images. So just FYI on that. That's funny, they got a light fast rating. So I'm not gonna put much stock in that. Um, they've got their colors up here as well. I'm kind of curious to see how these are. That's a horrible name, Dead Green. <laughs> okay, 
All right. So the metallic pencils, they have like a nice little shimmery painted barrel. So that's fun. These will be interesting to check out. Um, honestly, the only reason I bought these is because when I swatched those 300 pencils, they had like what, a dozen, two dozen, it felt like a lot um, of these metallic colors in there. And they were actually really soft because normally I avoid metallic pencils. Normally they're, um, for me at least, scratchy and I've just never enjoyed using a metallic pencil in my life. But these ones were actually really soft. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy this 50 set and see. So we'll swatch them today, check out the colors and see how they look on this chart. And then, so, you know, because I am doing the Yana in July hashtag, I have my Yana Prosperina countdown calendar. She has these on her Etsy store, by the way. They're really cute. They're little like coloring countdown calendars. And she has one for every single month. Um, but we have a lot of catching up to do because gosh, what is it? <laughs> the 20th. I have this printed and I'm so behind. So with that, we'd color on that as well and like have some fun coloring with only metallics. And yeah. Uh, I don't know if they are different from the set of the 300, to be honest, because I have literally just now opened them myself. Um, so we'll have to see. I have that sweatshirt around here somewhere. Where the heck is that thing? My art studio is the world's hottest mess right now. I'm going to zoom in. It is, yeah, quite, quite annoying how messy my art studio is right now. Um, it's, it makes it like hard to focus. I've had trouble like recording videos and everything. So I'm just like, let's zoom in a little more there so you guys can actually see the color. The only bummer is the sparkly won't show up as well. Um, like when I did the 300 swatch, it didn't show up quite well, but it's they're very sparkly, like they have glitter. They should be called glitter pencils. Let me see if I have the 300 chart like within hand reach because I don't want to go hunting. Where the heck did I put that thing? Oh, it's over here. Okay, I do have the 300 chart here. Where's the metallics? Let me see. So metallic, so it looks like the ones in the 300 set, orange, red, they are not the same names as the ones in the 50 set. Let's see. So either these 300s are extras or, because I'm not seeing like even just metallic red. So I might have to break those out. But that would mean you have extra as well. Let me see, metallic coffee, is that one in there? These are the metallics right here. Olive green. Yeah, so we, you may have even more. I'll have to check, because I wonder if they adjusted the names or if they're legit. Like, I know this purple black one, I don't see in the 50 count. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know how many are here? Let's see. We've got from 216, so 16 colors or 16 metallics in the 300 set. Oh, crap. So I'm going to have to get those out. We'll do that. But I'll have to see if a tailored image has them combined. I'm kind of curious. If, in the, if they have um, a room. Evelyn owns these. Actually, weren't you getting that wrong? I'm just going to adjust a few things on. I had the own these, but yeah, it was a good deal. All right, let's get swatching. So we are on to sand yellow, metallic sand yellow. My gosh, these boxes are huge. <laughs> these are these are some big boxes. I, I apologize if you hear the huskies. Unfortunately, I'm home alone and I didn't want to leave them outside because well, they like to escape. 
So they're inside, but uh, they're really hyper. <laughs> so, uh, it's not like a kid where you can be like, here's here's a snack and a TV show. They don't they don't do that. So hopefully they're not too loud. Yeah, these are really soft. It's nuts. That's the whole reason I bought these is because when I swatched that 300 set, I was like, wow, those things are freaking soft and glittery. Just trying to fill in this monster box here. It's quite big. I mean, like, look at it compared to my finger. Big box. Oh, you on the 300. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I couldn't remember. Someone said they had this 50 set. So I'm trying to remember who it was. Okay, golden yellow. But it looks like the names in the 300 set, so the ones in the 300 set don't aren't the same names as the ones in here. I'm trying to figure out if they are brand new colors. That would be once. If there's 16, 66 metallic colors, this one's a little scratchy. I don't know, that'd be interesting. Gold, though, is in the 300 set. So that one would be a dupe. Because I definitely saw that one on my list. But some of the other ones I'm not so sure about. Yeah, these are just sparkly. And I am like, I, I rarely use metallic pencils. I often just toss them in the pile of pencils for my kids. I'm not sure for this one. Um, but yeah, these were just really smooth when I was doing my um, switching. And then I also noticed they were like sparkly. So it wasn't just like a flat metallic and that's all scratchy like your typical metallic. They were soft and they had a ton of glitter. Wow, that one's a little, a little crumbly. But yeah, they're super sparkly, like actual glitter all up in there. <laughs> and I wish it would show through camera because that's so pretty. I'm a sucker for glitter. Give me something sparkly and I'll be like, ooh. Yeah, and I forget what these were for Prime Day deal, but it was like enough to where I was like, fine, okay, I'll buy them. I'll buy them and try them. Gosh, was it last week that I swatched the 300? I don't know. Feels like that. All right, copper. See, so I'll have to see what we have for new colors. Because this 50 set was out before the. 300 set. Gosh, Color has, they kind of remind me of Ohuhu. <laughs> like a million sets and not everything contains everything. <clears throat> Gotta love that. I believe when I was watching the 300s, didn't someone say that they renamed the pastels? The same colors were there. I haven't gotten into like investigating all that and doing my full review, but I will. Look into that. The other thing is they just might be close in color. I mean, when you're making 300, that usually happens. Okay. I know there's, I haven't had time to do much of anything lately. <clears throat> I've been doing um, work and then doing stuff for my Etsy store. And just trying to find a, a balance. Um, like, and so I've been coloring, I'll sit down and color, but I haven't even filmed many videos lately. I'm all sorts of, like, I'm all over the place. That's why today I was like, I'm just gonna stream. Oh, this one's really pretty. It has like a little dark under layer. It's kind of interesting the way the glitter comes out on this one. But just the sparkle. Oh my gosh, the sparkle. Oh, no power. Gosh, um, there's a gal that uh, works for me at my other job, and she had like no internet for three days. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, we lose internet for like two hours, and we're just all like losing it here. <laughs> 
Uh, I imagine like going over a day, let alone that many. I was just like, uh, how did you survive? You take internet away here and my kids are like, we have nothing to do. And power, I can't even imagine losing power, especially right now in the heat. Ooh. It's a pretty clear. These do get a little streaky, I've noticed, like when I layer on top, but nothing bad. I think it's more just the mixture of glitter and wax. It has 24. Yeah, so I'm kind of curious. Like I said, I'm not, I want to see once I finish swatching these if these colors are, like, I know the gold is in that 300 set. But not all the, the ones in the 300 set am I seeing here in this set. So I'm kind of curious what the total actual count is of metallic pencils. That would suck if the only way to get the other metallics is in the 300 set. <laughs> That's one heck of a lot of pencils to buy. I feel like now I'm good. But if you don't have them, I guess that it's fine, but still. We'll see if they're all close enough and maybe like just renamed or it's an interesting one. Let's see, orange. Yeah, so orange is in the 300 set. So it just looks like a few. Okay. I'm going to swap this. Uh, I don't even know when my kids go back to school. Sometime in August. End of August, maybe? <laughs> I should know this. One of the moms the other day said five more weeks. So I guess five more weeks. Um, we've been so busy with the soccer tournaments and everything. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've lost track of time. We're trying to like recover from last week's soccer tournament and then next week we have a whole other soccer tournament. So <sighs> basically we have a tournament every other week, I realized. We'll see how that goes. But my son had to go to practice tonight and it's like 102 out there, but I mean, well, they gotta get used to it. Same metallics are also in the 240 as in the 300. It's good to know. All right, Scarlet. Kind of interesting. All of these have four plus signs for their light fast. But yeah, like my, I mean, it's really hot, but I told my son, I was like, well, this is like the temperature you play in. So, I mean, as much as it sucks, you might as well practice in it. Not that I'm going to go out there and practice in it, but hey, I'm not playing soccer, so I don't have to. And then I made my husband do all of the driving tonight. So, because I'm normally the one on Thursdays that takes the kids and all their sports overlap. And Thursdays is a nightmare. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to stream tonight so you get to do this. Huh? <laughs> we'll see if these are No, it's dry. Utah is a desert. Uh, we're in. It's quite dry out here. It's got like zilch for humidity. Ooh, this color is really pretty. I like this one. Again, I wish you guys could see the sparkle, especially right now because the, the natural light that's coming through is just making it sparkle. Oh, so pretty. I really like how these look oh. all. I'm going to be curious to see how these blend. Blend and layer metallic pencils. That's a whole new like adventure for me. Let's see. It's sage green. I mean, 50 metallics is quite a bit of metallic pencils. I mean, think about it. All the other sets, I, you know, I just have the metallics in them. And that's usually like two or three, <laughs> maybe like five. I think the Arteza set had a you know, few more, but yeah, I mean, normally I just go with what's in the sets. And I, like I said, I don't even use them, but 
these ones actually interested me. And they are metallic. It looks crazy. And then just the glitter. on them is yeah it's just not going to show up on my camera as well like i don't know i mean i could try but, but i just don't they sparkle there are really sparkles in there like actual glitter kind of like as if you took this so that's the uh, that's what's kind of crazy about it. I I don't know. That's what intrigued me the week before. Feels like Love Street. Yeah. Some pretty colors. Yeah, like, I mean, okay, now we are on an opal green. Opal, opal. Ooh, this one's bright. No. That's a bad thing. I just, the manufacturer sharpen on this, it's like square ended, so they're really awkward to see. thank me for it so i only sharpen when i start to color with them so i don't want to sit here and struggle with this funky blunted in yeah these are sparkly they're the base color not the sparkle under there All right, no worries. See you, Emily. I know that's the thing. Do you need the colors? I mean, like I got that 300 set and then I found out they had these 50 metallics and not all the 50 metallics are in the 300 set. So I was like, well, crap. So then I put that on my list, but then Prime Day rolled around and I don't know. Did anyone get anything good for Prime Day? I mean, really, I was looking for that vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't go on sale, so I was like, ah. Uh. But I did snag these because the deal was pretty good. Um, there was a really good deal on Prisma Colors. I don't know if anyone grabbed that one. But yeah, like the 150 set was at a killer price. Well, that that one's really pretty. It's got like a it's like a mermaid thing going on. <clears throat> I mean, the colors so far have been pretty impressive. I want to actually sit down and color with them, and then I'll do my review of the 300 set, and I'll probably toss this one in there. I don't know. Um, I'll review them soon, but they're actually not bad for being a budget set, and their price is really good. But again, like, don't pay attention to, like, fast readings, because I'm, I'm sorry, but... There's no way these are excellent. Like, <laughs> that's straight. I just laugh. Ah, uh, yes. There was the, the pastel tints. Yeah, castle art. Basically, a lot of the, the big names. So, I know, like, castle art. Um, Arteza, Ohuhu, Kalur, um, Prisma. There was some Derwent, but not all. It's kind of weird. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good selection. It was just mostly items I already had, other than you know this set here. What else did I buy though? I know I bought some things. I still ended up buying that vacuum, even though it didn't go on sale for Prime Day because I needed it. <laughs> you just wanted like five bucks off. That's all. Not too much to ask. Apparently, it is. Let's see. 
Yeah, there's nothing wrong with using what you have at all. I mean, you guys have to keep in mind, like I have a channel, so obviously I'm going to try things more often and buy things more often. Um, but once I get through a lot of my reviews, I'll be de-stashing a lot of colored pencils because there's really only certain sets I own. So I did that video kind of showing like what I, I use the most. Um, but yeah, like I have quite a few that I pick up to review for you guys, <laughs> not really for me, although it is fun for me. Chinese Jade. Yeah, I do plan to do a colored pencil de-stash. Um, well, speaking of de-stash, I need to email winner number three of the book de-stash. It's quite the process because you have to go back and forth with the winners and kind of make sure their box gets filled up all the way. But I do need to reach out to winner number three because it is their turn now um, to pick. But it looks like I'll get to pull a fourth name on the book's book de-stash, so keep your eyes out for that, because it looks like I have enough books. I had more books to laugh out. Oh, thanks, Bobini. I try to be thorough <laughs> and, like, make it worth it. Make it worth your time and my time. I really hate this blunted edge, but I don't want to show it then. Now, this is a pretty color. I wouldn't really call this kelp green, but whatever. To each their own. I mean, these obviously look better when they're just like completely at full color and not all light layers. But I am curious if I blend and layer these together, if the mesh of sparkles will make them look cool. I mean, like right here, this is like lackluster. It's like, it just doesn't even look like anything. Hi, Tanya. Yeah, I mean, well, here's, here's the one that I laughed at. So here's dead green. Let's see what dead green looks like. <laughs> oh, it's just a weird name. Oh, hang on, I need to adjust my focus. It looks like it's a little funky. What is dead green? Well, that was a little too much adjustment. There we go. All right. A dead green color is this color. Why would you call it dead green? It's just... <laughs> uh, I always laugh if, like, they have weird names or like the color name and color are totally off. Like when we did the 300 set, there was some where I was like, uh, this isn't even right. This one is actually really hard to swap. I don't know if it's because it's darker, but it's making it so weird. But that's dead green for you. I don't know, if I was going to pick a color for dead green, I would pick something like, I don't know, muted and boring. <laughs> Call me crazy. Oh, green. I know dead green wasn't in these 300s, and there's nothing like it, so that would definitely be unique. And around to the inky green. Whatever that's supposed to be. Like, I would almost put this one more closer to the kelp. But, right, whatever. You do you, Kalur. This one is super sprinkly. I like that one. Kind of like a gray green, I would say. Yeah, something that looks dead. <laughs> I just, I don't know. 
Verde, Verde Jade. That's an interesting combo. It's a pretty color though. Definitely gray leading, like a gray greenish thing going on. We shall see. But they're still very smooth. Just like the ones in the 300 set, which I would assume, because it would be kind of weird if they just randomly changed their formula. Not that a company hasn't done that before. <laughs> Yeah. And now we're on to slate blue again. All oh, this one's five stars. Check that one out. Ooh, that's pretty blue. I can already tell. Not really a slate blue, but what ifs? Like I said, I think they're just grasping for color names. Then they also have their macaroon set pastels. So many pencils. Ooh, this one's really sparkly. I like the finish on it quite a bit. That would be a fun one to use. Let's see. Now we are on the site. Ooh, this is a nice bright one. These brighter, like lighter colors, you can really see the glitter in them. It's just so pretty. And they use different shades of like glitter in their, I don't know, what you want to call it, <laughs> recipe formula. Like some have a silver leaning sparkle, others I've noticed have more of a darker sparkle. So I found that kind of interesting. For being such a budget pencil, they really like put a lot of thought in that. All right, let's go to the next tray. Oh yeah, I guess that one kind of sort of gets in there. Um, so it's two trays, by the way. Oh, that was a horrible sound. With the wonder. But, and then of course they're just those flimsy trays, so. Easy trace. Let's go. There we go. Well, that was quite the battle. Okay. Ooh, she's got a typo on her PDF. I'm not going to have to send her a message because it's actually a zoom there. It's a pretty blue. Such a monster, like I have to fill them in. I can't leave them. I'm one of those people that have to fill in the whole. The swatch card it comes with has much smaller boxes. Just yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm a metallicator. Well, what do I dislike more, Holbein's or metallics? I would say Holbein's. I don't know, actually. <laughs> but like I said, these ones caught my interest when I swatched that 300 set and it had a handful in there. So I'm like, okay, I got to see what this is about. I would have never went for these had someone not brought it up that there was a 50 count set. So. I blame whomever brought that up. I would have found them anyways, though. Let's just be real. Amazon. Anytime I go on my home screen, Amazon just shows me something new and shiny. That's just life. Have fun at your meeting, Bobini. All right. 
ocean blue. Wait, didn't you? No. Oh, it was the ocean green. Okay. Let's have a having a moment there. All right. Ocean blue. This is not too bad for my either. This one has like a really nice sparkle to it as well. The sparkle, the sparkle level, as I'll call it, uh, like definitely varies from color to color, but they still have that like distinct glitter look to them, which is just so cool. And then, of course, they're really soft and not just all crappy. <laughs> Yeah, it has the glitter bits like the ones in the 300 set, which was why I was um, ended up getting these. And then once I swatch these, we'll take a look at the ones from the 300 set and see. I know not all of these are in the 300 set, but it looks like we have a couple that overlap. This is not dark blue, but okay. I guess it is a dark, darker blue. I will say, like, if you get a couple layers on top, they do start to get a little too waxy and slick. But we'll see how they do when I'm, like, actually blending them. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I'm going to be coloring and blending metallic pencils. Never thought I'd say that. Abaldon? Abaldon? Something blue. It's a pretty blue, though. I got like a nice tropical blue. Okay. Some of them are a little crumblier than others. Not too bad. Let's see. It's royal blue. Yeah, I think the ocean blue is really pretty. I like that one. It's definitely like a blue greenish color, which is perfect for the name. And these also could be getting a little slick when I'm going over them just because of the film that's on them. I mean, they are a budget pencil, so usually budget pencils need to sharpen just to get that ickiness off of them, whereas, like, you know, higher grip ones don't. But I can't be bothered with sharpening that. I think it should be a law against calling pencils names you can't pronounce. Yeah, there's some out there that you're like, yeah, okay. But then sometimes it's like, it's common in certain areas of the world or something, you know? Like, so other people can say it just fine, whereas I cannot. So it could just be a, a global thing. I don't know. I mean, these are made in uh, China, so who knows? Maybe that's a word out there. I mean, gosh, even um, Polychromos used to get us screwed up with certain names. But it was just the pigment name. But it, gosh, those names are lost. Um, so my Teresa Goodrich one didn't show up today, which is kind of a bummer because normally my pre-orders show up on time. But today it did not. However, as always, after Amazon Prime Day, Amazon's two-day shipping becomes a royal joke. So I'm sure it got lost in that um, because, like, everything from Amazon right now, if I go to buy it, it's like it doesn't ship till Tuesday of next week or arrive, I should say, because they're just so backlogged from Prime Day. But I'm like, you know, if you're going to throw out Prime Day, like, so, I mean, I, I have two-day shipping. Everything is not showing up in two days. So, 
Yeah, I'm sure I'll get my book eventually. I did get, however, my Camilla J. Erica book, her little compilation book. That one came. So, um, I I need to do a flip through of that one. It's cute. It's just basically the best of in her book. It's not a, a new book by any means, but I'll do a flip on that. I think I got that. Did I get that yesterday? No, it's been a couple days now. Yeah, my Teresa Goodridge, I expected to see it in the mail because normally they're on time, but yeah. Amazon's been bad for me the last couple days. I had to wait on a package that was supposed to be here Monday and it finally came today. I was like, thanks, Amazon. I love how reliable you are lately. Could be my uh, mail worker too, though. I don't know. Um, yeah, well, that's the problem. Amazon's backlog from Prime Day. They do this every year. Every year they have Prime Day, and then they get backlogged. And like I said, like right now, if you were to go buy something that would have two-day shipping, it's like it, it says two-day shipping on it, but it's not coming till next week. So I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I pay for this. And it's just we've gotten spoiled with the whole getting used to, you know, things literally showing up in two days or um, the next day or same day. Or now they have that overnight delivery, which I think is kind of hilarious. <laughs> like, so you can receive it tomorrow or overnight, but overnight just means it's on your porch by like 9 a.m. And I'm like, okay. Drink water. <laughs> <laughs> I need to drink water. I got my big old mug of water next to me. I do like the purples they have in here. Some, some pretty purples. This is wine red, but it's kind of more like a, um, I don't know. Not a wine red. For me, a wine red is a really like deep, deep burgundy color. I don't know. Um, this one, which is because it's a metallic though. Uh, oh, the Lana Green coloring book. You know, I ended up not buying the Lana Green coloring book um, simply because I own all the PDFs. So if she's going to like start releasing them kind of like Christine Caron and Daria Sakasoy, then I might stop. But I don't know, like, I kind of enjoy being able to just print on my own paper. So I might not buy them. I like this color. This one has some extra shimmer to it on my side of things. Oh, hi, Eric. Late for you. And I say late because, like, if it was what, 8 47 for me, I'd be like, okay, good night, everyone. <laughs> So when my son's soccer practice goes past eight, I'm like, can't you walk home? <laughs> I think you need to walk home, son. Oh my gosh, if he walked home, he'd be home by like 11. That's an interesting color. I wouldn't really call that a brick red, but whatever. It's really close. It's this whole row here, but like the wine red and brick Red. Yeah, we have her. In fact, uh, we have one that opened not even 10 minutes away. This chocolate. But um, yeah, I don't know. In fact, they're working on another one not too far away either. 
taking over the world, guys. But it's not like <laughs> to expand so that they can actually do the two-day delivery that we're all crying about, right? Chocolatey. Let's see, a sangria. But yeah. Like, I'll know if, of course, you have to order like a certain amount. Dollar for the same day, which is like two ninety nine or something. Yeah, I don't know. Like they've they've run out of trucks out here. They've it's kind of like during the holidays how they have people driving private cars and delivering. That's what they're doing right now out here because they're just so backlogged from Prime Day. Let's see, they burnt sienna. Almost there, and then we can compare to the three hundred since I'm gonna have to. And that stupid tin and find the other ones because I want to color with all the metallics. And I know there's a few in that set that aren't in this set. Well, this one's not bad at all. Oh. We've got brown, nice basic name. Can't even stay in the lines, and it's a huge box. It's up with me today. See, this would be more like a chocolate color for me, but I don't know. The more I layer it over, the more. Interesting, this purple and this one. It's kind of interesting. Okay, and then burnt umber. Oops, Let's see, out of the line I go again. Who needs lines? Whatever. They're there just as a suggestion. I gotta say though, I'm not used to <laughs> so many metallic colors. But this next one is oh, it's an S word. Diving into purples again. We have some over the top, but uh, let's see. Big plant. Keep in mind, like Amazon distribution centers aren't based on population. Um, one, they have to have land or ability to acquire a large building but uh like utah for example is getting a ton and it's just because well it's utah <laughs> we we're like yeah we'll do amazon i don't need to go outside but i mean there's some major cities that have fewer distribution centers okay This will be fun. There's a good selection of purple. Now there's not pinks, but I imagine, let's see, I remember there was one, yeah, there's one pink in the 300 set, but I mean, pink would be a hard one to make as a metallic. But I'm surprised they have this many purples, if I'm being completely honest, because that's normally a color that all brands tend to lack in any type of pencil. Pink wise, probably going to be short on those. Let's see, Iris. Yeah, the job market does influence where they set up shop too. But I mean, Utah has a pretty healthy job market. Like, there's always jobs available, but I don't know. 
And I personally don't think I could work for Amazon, even though I know they, they pay pretty well, but I just know that high demands and, you know, big corporations, not my style. <laughs> Unless I'm getting like 25% off employee discount or something crazy. Yeah, a lot of auto, like a lot of those abandoned auto manufacturing buildings are perfect for them to set up shop. They actually built them here, though, from scratch. Like, it's nuts. But we have a lot of land out here. Well, did. <laughs> Not just because of Amazon, but I mean, like, they're building homes. Like, everything's just filling up. Except the area where my son's one tournament is. Every year we drive out there, and I'm like, okay, it's going to be full of homes and restaurants. And I don't know, a gas station to stop that. And nope. Every year I go out there, it's just as empty. I'm like, why is no one touching this place? <laughs> is it haunted? Like this year, I was really hoping there was a gas station nearby because I needed gas and it wasn't. Hmm. Yep, the dogs are getting rowdy. It's because it's so hot outside, but normally, when it's hot like this, they're actually like tired all day and they're just gonna lounge. We're on to silver, which I know is in the 300 set. I'll have to get my pen out so I can mark which ones are dupes and which ones are not. I mean, silver is silver, right? Let's see what this black is like, though. That'll be interesting. Yeah, the violet is really pretty. They have a, a nice selection. And even like this, this purple, this iris, um, pretty color selection. Again, I wouldn't mind some pinks, but whatevers. But a lot of blues. A lot of greens. Even some olivey greens. And then we got some green golds going on, but that's expected. This one's kind of not as cool as I thought it would be. <laughs> this is just like whatever. I want to see the black one though. I'm kind of curious what that'll be like. see because i know the 300 set had that it was like black purple or something like that purple black and that was pretty that was a pretty nifty looking color so this black is really rough it was scratchy let me sharpen it and see if that's part of the problem yeah. otherwise it's just icky <laughs> so we'll find out no it's just icky Ooh, that's really like, this one's not soft, creamy, or anything of that matter. This one's like sticky and weird and scratchy. It's sticky and scratchy. Is that even possible? What well, is now? But yeah, this one's weird. This is not pleasant. <laughs> it's a soft. Avoid the black pencil. Oh, wow. That was just all sorts of. I don't even see any speckle in it. The heck. Okay, so let me, let me zoom out real quick and then we can see what we have for dupes. Whoa, zoom out a lot, zoom out a little. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Let's get my handy dandy pen. Okay. So I have the 300 count metallics, or the ones in that 300 count, to <laughs> make that clear. Um, so obviously the silver and gold are duplicates. So I'm going to, now, but one thing that's interesting is like, so this has its own numbering system. Like, so it's M and then like a number, cause you know, for metallic. Um, so I do find that different because like the numbering system over here is like so silver on where'd it go is 216 but they are dupes like so we'll line up the silvers 
Yeah, so those are the same. Let's line up the golds. Let's see, go gold. You know, the gold on this one is not the same. However, the gold from the 300 set looks a freaky lot of, like this golden yellow. So that's, we're going to put a little question mark there to check that out later. Um, the pale gold, no, I have that switched up. Okay, the two oranges look pretty darn close to me. I'll have to investigate that one a little further. Uh, this orange red, no, it doesn't really line up there. So it'll be interesting because we could have some just different color names. Like, so they're pink. Actually, their pink looks a lot like the scarlet. But it might. Let's see if we can see. I'm going to push your mark to look at that one. Swatch those together later. They're, they're light, but different than the lavender. The pale violet, I'm not. Seeing, let's see this indigo. No, that looks like it's pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull these out because some of these will be fun to use. And the teal. What are these greens? Just checking to see if any of these greens overlap. So this grass green and army green. Sort of similar. I'm just gonna put a little, I'm putting the question mark for me just so I can compare them later. Now they're green gold. Kind of also looks like this one up here. Also looks like the sand gold. So I'm gonna put question marks on both of those to compare those later. Not tonight, because we're gonna color with them. Sorry, I'm gonna color with metallics. Let's see about this metallic ochre that does not look ochre. Could be close to that one. I'll have to do those side by side. Purple black is definitely unique. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting because they have the different numbering system. We'll have to see, but some of the colors are similar, others. Are just close but have different names so i'll have to swatch them side by side and see but let me grab my 300 set because obviously there are oh thank goodness i did not move this oh. let me get this of course now i gotta go through how many trays was it <laughs> 10 trays is that what we said it was find any other metallics in here going to be near the bottom that much I know for sure. Actually they might not be now that I think of it. I was pretty lazy when I shoved these all back in. Actually now that I remember they're going to be scattered throughout because they were not in order in the trays. So I'll just have to grab the ones I like when I like. All right we'll focus on the 50 count set because I am not going in that. So let me yeah, I'll test them out and see because they have different names and numbers, but some of them are pretty similar. Others are not. You definitely don't get like, what, 66, I think is what it came out to. You definitely don't get 66 total metallic pencils. You got overlap. It's just they gave them different names. But let's work on this page. This will be fun because it's teeny tiny. Let me zoom back in, but it also make it a little more. All right, so what should we start with? Oh, number one is our mermaid. I'm gonna give her this black that was like not even a metallic. It is crap, that's what it is. Uh, okay, what do you wanna do? 
Got her little thing here. Where is it? Okay, I want to do azure in the background. So let's put something a little more tealish. Maybe I will grab on from here. I like this metallic teal from the other side. Mm -hmm. And skin tone, won't that be fun? Let's see. I really like her purple. Okay, let's try this violet. Where are you? Do the violet and and mix it with yeah, the lavender, which is up here. Totally talking to myself. Am I talking to you guys? <laughs> All right, and then let's pick. I want the azure, but on here it says azar. The azar. Oh, this this is these trays are such a nuisance. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then I don't know. I'm gonna roll out her skin tone. Try this orange yellow and then lighten it up. Let's try that. Oh, where is that one? Make my copper. Okay. I do have to sharpen these ones. And that's just simply because this blunted edge is a pain in the butt to color this in this one. Yeah. See what we can create. Probably won't go in order, like number order of the chart. I'm just gonna color what I feel like coloring. <laughs> but I will do this entire chart in the tabs. So I try to theme them out every month, um, whether it be like new markers that month or whatever. But try to do that just to have a little fun. I think I'm gonna do this mermaid down here for numbers. Yeah, the right color here. And we'll see how these layer up and blend. And I'm going to be mixing some colors. It's like I've got the violet color right now. Look, I don't even have to break out my wink of Stella. She'll already be sparkling. Now, I am by no means a metallic colored pencil expert. <laughs> so, this is kind of more of a for fun, not learning. We'll see how these colors blend together. It'll be interesting too because some of these have different um, glitter bases. Like, some are more silvery, some are darker. So, that will kind of like influence how they blend. And hopefully not make any like nasty browns in the process. So far they're blending actually quite well. Let me have to fix the darker down here. We'll need to find my purple black from the other set because I really want to use that color. I can zoom in a little bit more for you guys. There we go. Okay. So, is anyone doing anything fun this weekend? Apparently, we are going to a tractor pull. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, that's a thing. Um. Other than that, we're taking it easy. My husband's been working on finishing the basement bathroom, so I told him we're not doing anything unless that thing is finished. Motivation. She doesn't have too much left. 
We did find out today, though, like we had bought this whole set set for the tub and shower. And it turned out it was plumbed for um, the Moen brand of faucets. And apparently they're not universal. So when my husband went to put a Delta faucet on it, it didn't work. I was like, oh, shoot. Uh, so he has to go return that and get a Moen. And then after we discovered that, I remembered, oh, right, when we had the contractor do all that, I said do Moen because we were going to match the fixtures throughout the house. So, yeah, that was my bad. Okay, I'm going to add some different things. So what is a tractor pull? Like, because, I mean, we're going. <laughs> No idea what we're, what it is. Like, I mean, is it just tractors pulling things? Like, not to sound completely ignorant, but I literally don't know what a tractor pull is. Like, so I'm adding this rose, red violet. Yeah, no tractor pull. So I don't know what they are. It's part of, um, we're doing it up north. And my nephew who's living with us, he just loves anything, anything motorized. So it'll be really fun for him. Like he's getting a kick watching the construction across the street because like the guys will come by in the heavy equipment and honk at him. So it's so funny. <laughs> Cali girl. Yes, I'm from California. I don't know what it is. I'm pulling heavy things in a race. Oh, interesting. They race each other, but what do they pull? <laughs> or is there not like a standardized thing? Have tractor pulls in California. They have surfing events to be really cliche. We have those beach events, you know. And tractors and beaches just don't mix. I'm going to put a blue in here too. Did not mean to rhyme. Uh, hook weighted sleigh to track. Tractor. Tractor. Oh, gosh. Interesting. Well, I guess I am going to experience my first tractor tractor bolt pull. Oh my gosh, why is this word so hard to say suddenly? Yeah, tractor pull. Um, I'll try this one in there. Where it's a little bit too. I want something a little lighter, but I don't have anything lighter, so. We're gonna mix it and make it work. I mean, these are metallic, so I don't, I don't know what I'm expecting out of myself here. Pole burner, interesting. Let's see. This. Wait. Maybe I should do. You know, at the beginning of the stream, I actually showed my pile of pages that need backgrounds. Um, but yeah, that'll be Sunday's stream, probably. Most likely, I'm leaning that way. Got lots of backgrounds to do. I just keep, like, finishing pages and then moving on. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll do the background tomorrow. And then before I know it, I had, like, a whole stack. Happens to the best of us. Which color was lighter again? Was it lavender? Rose, lavender. No, it's important. I must say, color theory kind of comes in hand when mixing metallics. Because <laughs> you don't really have like your traditional colors. So. Really am itching for a pink, though. So. 
where did I get the coloring page? This is Yana Prosperina's coloring countdown calendar. She has one for every month. Um, they're on her Etsy store. Let's get those. Um, and yeah, this is the July one. I had to double check when I started the stream because I was like, wait, is this the June one? Because I had printed out June and never got around to it. So these colors are also close to one another when they're mixed like that. But I <laughs> love me some form boys. What did this flip over here? Let's see. There's some pretty browns. Let's grab this. I have the orange yellow already out. I'm going to use that for the pages. No. I'm going to mix the orange yellow with my burnt sienna. Where's that one? Hey, I have a ton of Yona pages down. They just need backgrounds. At least I colored a bunch for the, the tag. Trying to myself on that part. All right, what well, pages? I don't know yet. Let's just work on the book, I guess, first. Yep, I'm making a brown book. So, so creative. Kind of weird blending metallic pencils. Maybe I'll throw in a little green. What's it going to hurt? It's freaking metallic. Um, I draw on my uh, iPad using Procreate, but I don't use a stand. Um, I need to start green. Let's grab olive green. But yeah, I use like Procreate, and I even put the the paper, which we call it paper-like screen cover on there. So I highly recommend if you're gonna draw on an iPad, putting that paper-like screen cover stuff on there it makes a world of difference. Cause then it feels like you're actually, well, using paper. And then of course, adjusting your brush strokes and stuff so that they feel more like a pencil and they don't have a weird digital drag to them. Just some things I've done myself. Add a little bit of green in this book, because why not? Ooh, did not need to break the tip of that one, but I will. Could have probably gone even darker, but it actually blend really nice. I mean, not that I have a vast experience blending <laughs> metallic pencils together, but from my experience here. These are blending quite nice. Typically, if I blend metallics, I'm blending them with non-metallics, but these are quite smooth. As for color combos, no idea what I'm doing. Just picking whatever I think will work. Um, I haven't tried them yet, but I bought them um, for the watercolor pencil battle. In fact, they are sitting off to the right of me right now because I have to swatch them. But um, yeah, I bought them 
I had them in my last haul, I think. But yeah, I bought them for the watercolor pencil battle both times because they have two different ones. And still, Color will not get back to me. So as for customer service, they're not going to get a good rating on that one. <laughs> when I review those, like, not good. Yeah, I'll let you know. I haven't swatched them yet, but it's on my ever-growing to-do list. Oh, does anyone feel like the to-do list just becomes, well, a stressor in itself? That's sure how I feel. I think I'm going to try... Let's put... Oh, it's interesting because the gold in this one, I would really not call gold. It's very, it's got like a very greenish tone to it. Okay, put the golden yellow here. Oh, eat those things. Um, I'll have to look into it. I don't typically do. Um, Sorry if the sharpener is loud for you guys. I don't know how much it picks up on this mic. Um, I don't typically do watercolor on Procreate, but that's just because I really enjoy like watercolor in person. Like I, I do watercolor for the feel of like the paints on the paper, and I've tried watercolor on Procreate, and it just I did not enjoy it. <laughs> it's like a because there's just like an effect with watercolors on actual paper that um, I enjoy versus where it's, I'm just sketching something. I don't really care. So yeah, I, I don't know if that would be my cup of tea, but I'll definitely take a look and see for this, the pages. Let's combine these two. Yeah, because at once I, I thought, oh, it'd be fun to take my iPad and just do um some watercolor in the car but yeah it just wasn't satisfying or is just as just as much tactile as it is for me at least um visual all right so we'll do i think a nice pretty purple ground on that little book make it stand out Got my lamp. Oh, my lamp. Okay. We want to do. Actually, this one might work well. Is that magenta? It's not magenta. Though. I had thought about doing a mandala with these, but there is no Yana Prosperina mandalas, and I've got the hashtag going, and I have this countdown calendar. So I was like, well, got to do it. But these would be really fun for mandalas, and I think I will definitely use them mostly for that, especially because these ones are nice and smooth. So they would uh, be nice on the color at mandalas, but also. Um, because most of my mandala books are on Create Space paper. I think these wouldn't be too bad on that. I typically don't mind the mandalas on Create Space paper, but that's because I'm usually using a glitter gel pen or like alcohol marker or something. So, and I do my mandalas fairly basic because I'm not there to stress over layers and <laughs> blending. It's like my one time where I'm like, there will be no blending or shading or anything. It is literally just the color going on paper and when it sparkles, it makes me happier. It's not magenta. I mean, they got it called magenta, but that's freaking like a plum purple. I don't know. Like, but just for reference, in case you happen to have that this set. I used magenta. I have to turn that up a little more. Not strong way. Okay, let's see. What do I want to color next on here? Oh, that's like a metallic hot dog. That. <laughs> okay, so 
Let's see if there's fun, I guess. This will be interesting. I don't think I've ever I'm making a metallic hot dog here. So I'm just using like whatever colors are close enough to making a, a bun. <laughs> I mean, I'm going for realism here. These are metallic pencils. You ordered them? Yeah, they're actually not bad. They're not bad at all. I mean, granted, like, kind of, you know, I would definitely see myself using these with my mandalas more, but I'm going to do this whole calendar in these metallic pencils, and as well as the ones that are in my 300 set. Not the whole calendar tonight, if it's just by that, because we'll be here all day. Especially as I'm trying to figure out what colors I want to use, but it's a good practice. I mean, I'll come up with some really wacky looking colors, but okay, I have like, what is it, two whole trays of metallics from Felissimo? I can't remember now. I know the Felissimo set had. There one or two boxes that were all metallic. They actually weren't bad. But I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a metallic person normally. So hmm. they definitely didn't have the glittery effect that these have, though. This is the weirdest looking hot dog bun. I'm combining, what is this, golden yellow and orange yellow. To make a bun looking thing here. Yeah, sure, it's a hot dog bun. It's a shimmery hot dog bun. Let's see. Okay. And I gotta make mustard and or ketchup. Ooh, what should it be? What should it be? Uh, yeah, I finished the Felissimo subscription oh, crap. a while ago. I did a video, uh, so it's somewhere on my channel um, from when I finished it. Like, I kind of went over all the sets and my thoughts and whether it's worth it, which it's not. But, <laughs> like, if you have the money to spare and or are interested, go for it. Okay. The real challenge, right? A metallic hot dog. Hmm. All right, we'll use this brown, I guess. And it's going to be a burnt ish hot dog. <laughs> That's what I'm going to make here. Let's see, maybe the brown will mix with the yellow over. Wow, the choices. You know, actually, I like that orange yellow better. Orange yellow is like all over. So I still Erica says it should be ketchup. Well, that I can do because we have reddish colors. In the 300 set, there was one that was really red, metallic red. I wonder if I can find that one. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to look in the pile. All right, let's make our glimmering hot dog. <laughs> Sorry. I've got a metallic hot dog. It's going to be a lot browner than a hot dog probably should be, but whatever. Okay. I want this color in there. This Cajun. <laughs> Cajun hot dog. Obviously, I would pick different colors, but. Yeah, no, we're sticking with this palette. We have a good range of metallic colors in this. It's just the fact that, you know, it's still limited. Okay. So if I'm only using this set of 50, I guess the closest thing to catch up would be a little bit of scarlet mixed with, I could layer it if I wanted to, but I hate to layer. That's bad. Where's my scarlet? 
that in. I guess chocolate. Smoked sausage. <laughs> yes, I mean it's definitely not a hot dog. Some some sort of something. All right. Just gonna put a little bit of this chocolate color, which by the way is not a chocolate color. <laughs> it's like a more it's definitely more red leaning, but way of this scarlet. Which is kind of thing I'd like to actually test is if the glitter rubs off on your hands much. Have to see. You know, kind of like when you're using glitter gel pens, how you just get glitter all over your hands. Because these do have that like super sparkly finish to them. I guess we could just try silver, but it's not going to be what I want exactly. That is one interesting looking hot dog. Okay. Oh, well, the color next. It would be nice to have like just a white pencil, but I'm doing this all in metallics. I'm not going to budge. But a white pencil would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> throwing that out there in the universe. Um, well, let's put some greens and do this little palm tree over here. This will be fun. I like that one pretty. Let's see. Taste a lot. I'm so not putting these back either. So they're all over my desk now. Tinies and then opal. Oops. There's such a tiny picture. It's going to have so many colors. And then a little coconut. I think I'll do the brown and where did that brown go? Brown and burnt umber. That's probably this week that one. Okay. Oh, the sugar beans. Oh my gosh! So we are boarding. The funniest dog ever. So his name is Moose, but he's actually just like this little teeny tiny Yorkie. <laughs> so it's really fun. Um, but he's like super shy and has a lot of anxiety. So we have to kind of be really careful with him. But uh, I just crack up every time I see him because he's just so tiny. And he's, he's older, too, so he's kind of like got his little old man attitude going on. But it's hilarious. His name's Moose, and he's like not even 10 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> Almost seven feet tall. I could do not. So it was just... The funniest Sunday. And then Sunday, actually, one of my favorite dogs that we board is Cat because this dog is always happy. <laughs> Constantly with. He's going to come aboard for 10 days, but he's super easy peasy. And he gets along with the other dogs. <laughs> No, Moose won't even go near the, the big dogs. So we have him on a different schedule because um, my sister-in-law's dog is here now as well. And she's got a German Shepherd, huge, fluffy, adorable thing. But she's she's funny. She's got some sass to her too. But yeah, um, he's, uh, his owner had said like normally he like has the, you know, the little dog complex where they try to be big, but he isn't doing that right now. It's probably because he's outnumbered. Oh, no worries, Anna. No one's ever late. We all have lives. I don't sit here and 
go, oh my gosh, you're late. <laughs> Just appreciate you stopping by. These greens, like once I actually put them together, are a lot closer than I thought they were going to be. So I'm adding a little of this really nasty feeling black to it. Making me some metallic palm trees. I don't know. Shiny palm trees. Yeah, the black in this set has like zilch sparkle. I don't know. Maybe I got a bad pitch. I'm kind of curious now if anyone else has it or gets it, what their black pencil ends up being like. It's mine, mine's icky. There always has to be that one disappointing pencil in a set, though, right? If you think about it. <laughs> the one that doesn't quite perform the way you expected it to. I may have to close my blinds here in a second. Awful sunset. A 10 pound silky terrier. It's named Angel. Oh. That's cute. Yeah, but this one is um, has a lot of anxiety issues. Um, so like, he'll he has to just go in the kennel and kind of like chill out and have a have a break. Like he needs a break <laughs> from all the stimulation. But um, I'm used to big dogs. Like I've always grown up with big dogs. The only time I've ever been around the little ones is dog training and boarding. Um, my gosh, I remember when I was working for a trainer, we had this little Shih Tzu that was named Truffles. It was the most ridiculous thing ever. I'm going to close my blinds. Um, but it was, it was hilarious because it was just this like sassy little dog. And then it was named Truffles. So that just made it even better. Yeah, I mean, I've noticed with the smaller, oh, it might be too bright of a light, um, the smaller breeds tend to, no matter what I've noticed, they tend to have a little bit more anxiety than the big breeds. But, I mean, imagine, like, looking at the world through their eyes. <laughs> like, I mean, this little Yorkie you were watching, gosh, everything is big to him. I mean, everything. There's nothing on his eye level. I couldn't imagine. We'll be redoing his leash training while he's hanging out here because he's having trouble with his leash training. Oh yeah, all pets have interesting personalities. Um, Harper, one of our huskies, has been like, she just out of nowhere the last couple days has completely burst out of her shell not just like cracked open the shell and said hi guys no like she just straight up blew that thing up and now she is like super chatty and like I mean she's just freaking hilarious <laughs> but like I can't even like the amount of talking that comes out of that dog Scout doesn't even talk anymore because like, I think she kind of feels like Harper just talks too much so she's like I'm just not going to talk then but yeah, this dog will just go around the house and and we're working on her recall. And so the other day I called her and she just turned around and started howling at me, almost like she was saying, Yeah, I hear you. I'm not doing it though. So like night and day dog. So yeah, I don't know. It's kinda interesting. But also at the same time I'm like, Whoa, I was hoping you would kinda like come out of your shell and slow pieces, not just go whoop. Uh, she's they're not be quite a funny little thing. Yeah, she is a chatterbox. Like she got, she gets up in the morning with me and I let her back in from going out this morning. And then she just followed me around the house, howling and talking and throwing a tantrum because she wanted her breakfast. 
I was like, listen, dog, this is not how this works. I human, you dog. But yeah, she's uh, quite chatty now. So don't be surprised if she starts showing up in videos like Scout used to, because yeah, she's never quiet. It's nice to see that she's vocal. I knew she was, I just didn't realize she was this vocal. And she has like a really deep voice. I need to record it for you guys and show it on a Whip Wednesday or something, but her voice is so deep. And then like you look at her and they just don't fit together. So it's kind of weird. This is, yeah. Here, it just doesn't fit what you would expect her to sound like. No, huskies really aren't dogs. No, they're they're part human, part cat, part I don't know, teenage girl. <laughs> That's pretty much what they are. And then mix in just a tiny bit of dog. Oh, the talk buttons. Um, I haven't with mine, but. I've seen people do that. I think that would aggravate Scout and not in a funny way. Not in a, I could make an Instagram reel out of this. She would just like legit be snarky. So better be careful with Huskies because if you tick them off, they'll let you know all day long that they're bad. So just FYI. Yeah, right, teenage girl. <laughs> I always tell people, I'm like, if you want a husky, like, just straight up, you have inherited a teenage daughter. Just letting you know, straight up. They have mood swings. It's often worse than a real teenage daughter. Uh, so this is just Yana Prosperina's um, July coloring countdown calendar. It's on her Etsy store. They're really fun. I try to link them every month in my community tab, but I've been kind of lazy lately. That's what this is. Just cute little pictures that you can belt out. I mean, you're supposed to belt them out daily, but <laughs> I'm obviously a little behind. But I figured I had a bunch of metallic pencils to try and color with, so why not? Let's see how these blend. I'm really itching for a pink, though. Just a real solid pink. I don't know. But yeah, they're in her Etsy store. If you're, like, actually interested in her calendars, I suggest buying the uh, three packs. Like, so she'll have January through March and April through, what is it, June, however it goes. Um, because then you get a little discount. She doesn't release new ones though every year. She just kind of has them like finalized and they're in there. But like I colored this last year, but totally different. So I mean, that's kind of fun to just do them. a little, little bit of coloring every day. Yeah, Shannon linked it. There you go. <laughs> I forgot Shannon is here. I got my linker. He's quick with links too, by the way, and and sneaky. You won't even know she's in stream until she's like link. It's a little darker than I wanted it to be, but it's okay. On the chart, it was lighter, but this is why we color with them. Yeah, like I mean, they were fun just to like belt out every day, and if I was good about it. I would have them done every day, but clearly I'm not. So let's see. I wanna She's quick like a ninja. That's what I was saying. Like there's those times she'll jump in the stream, but she hasn't said hi. Hi yet. She's she, here we go. Let's see. What color should I do her hair? I really want a pink. Okay, first I'll do the background. I think I was going to do this 
azure blue. And And they do need some good teals in here, I would say. That would be nice. Just something. This is such a pretty blue. <laughs> It'll be her name. It's your mom. You can like make up a whole superhero name and song, you know, like the old school cartoons. How they would have those little like just quick one liners with a little thing of music. I'm kind of doing single colors in the background. I guess I could do multiples, but you know, I'm I'm just trying to figure out metallic pencils, to be honest. Oh my gosh, the artwork on the cover of this tin, though, makes you think, holy cow, there's so much potential with metallic pencils that I don't have. <laughs> you should make yourself a cup for it. Oh, that's my the cup of my light here. And then every time you're modding, you need to, to grab your cup. Okay, what color was I going to try and use for skin tone? I mean, it's not going to look like skin tone. Oh, actually, in the 300 set, they have a metallic flesh tint. That's kind of close to this yellow ochre. That is so not a flesh color, but let's see what it does. Let's, let's adventure. Yeah, lurk. <laughs> doesn't really lurk though. She just like she she pops in, but she hasn't said hi yet because they for some reason she comes in at that perfect time when you know someone's like, oh, I, I need to link to that engine. Ta da! <laughs> it's like perfect timing every time. Well, you know what? Another color they're kind of missing is like a peachy color. That'd be nice. Like a peachy metallic pinks and peaches. She's gonna be really tan for a gal that lives underwater. What can I say? She's getting that uh oh shoot, what is it called when it bounces off the water? Reflection. There we go. The sun's reflection. Make it darker down here. Hi, hey, Evelyn. Have a good night. I need to turn up brightness on my thing. Oh, for sure. Let me know when you get those what you think. I would love to know. What you think of your metallics? I think that's an ear. Well, it is an ear now. Oh, see, I would want to pink for her. Give her some blush. And hair, I have no idea what I'm going to do with her hair. Might just do a combo of these purpley colors down here. And I'll just use a purple for her blush, I guess. I mean, the faces for like these little characters that she's made are barely faces. <laughs> Little little lines, but uh, try and add some color to it. Here's my let's see. I'll use whatever purple is pinkish enough, mm -hmm. which is none of them. 
magenta should be, <laughs> but it's not. It's like a nice dark purple. Okay, berry might be okay. Let's try berry. Use use it light enough. It might be pinkish. Yeah, it works. Okay. So I think for her hair, I am going to just use the purples I used on her fans, which I think are these. Don't even know now. And I'm not going to do like all flicky, <laughs> flicky hair. The one time I won't. These probably wouldn't look as good if they're not fully laid down with all their sparkle. Maybe hmm. there's a seashell over here I want to color too, but part of me is like, oh, I want my Prisma white to just blend it. They are pretty nice, yeah, for metallics. I mean, like I said, I would, I would definitely, most definitely, most likely, let's just contradict ourselves there. Um, I would be more apt to use these on my mandalas, but you know. Got my hashtag to honor. So, Yana needs to come out with some mandalas, is what I'm saying. And then I think this one was the dark. What's an idea? But these aren't scratchy like most metallics. So, that part's really nice because most metallics, oh, I just hate how scratchy they are. And then they don't have any actual sparkle to them, they're just this scratchy piece of crap. Like, I just toss. But these ones are like smooth, and then they have this glitter in them that's so nuts. I don't know. It's weird. Definitely a unique metallic. I have not tried the Derwent metallics, I'll be completely honest. Um, I probably should, but again, because normally I don't use metallics, I didn't want to waste my money on those. I should probably try them out. But it's really expensive, so I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know. The colors in the uh, membership, oh gosh, uh, it's just the levels and how long you've been a member um, is what the star next to you. I think it eventually maxes out because I haven't made I need to go in and make a fun color for over a year. But yeah, that's what the colors represent. It's just length of membership. The cooler macaroons, they were they weren't too bad uh, when I got the cooler macaroons. Um, they're not my favorite of the pastel, you know push as we'll call it all those brands that just came out with tons of pastels but um they weren't too bad from what i remember i really like the indra 72 count pastels those are nice um and then of course i do love the pastel tint i just wish they didn't cost so been much I'll just put this funky lavender color in here and hope this works out i don't know Totally different shade of purple, but whatever. Are they pretty nice, the Derwents? We'll have to look. It's just I normally avoid metallics, so I didn't want to waste my money on them. So I'm like, oh, I buy these things. I never use them. Or I'll hate them. Well, because, like, I mean, I'm trying to think. Like, the Chroma Flow has those two metallics in there. Three, two, I don't know, but they are awful. But I've never tried an actual Derwent metallic. Are they soft like the Derwent metallics? 
the actual metallic line. And do they have like um, some shimmer or sparkle, kind of like these ones? I mean, these ones have like visual, like I can see the glitter in them. It's nuts. The Arteza pastels. Yeah, those weren't too bad. I mean, gosh, there was just that whole like pastel push, right? Every manufacturer and their mother came out with a pastel set. Um, but a lot of them just copied Holbein. <laughs> and I was like, wow, way to be original. And then, of course, you're not going to win any like points with me because you all know how much I love Holbein. <laughs> but um, yeah, they. The Arteza ones, I have those ones. They weren't too too shabby. I really liked the Indra just because they were really soft. And the 72 colors weren't too bad. I mean, a few were pretty, let's be honest. Uh, let's see. The Ohuhu pastel lippers, you mean? Yeah, everyone has a pastel set now because pastels are cool. So I think, yeah, the Indra Macaroon, I had gotten the smaller set and then they came out with a 72 count set later. They aren't glittery, but they're smooth. Well, that's good to know, though. Like, as long as they're smooth, because most, like I said, most metallics are scratchy. I mean, this color doesn't do too bad of a skin tone. You don't, obviously, you can't put it down all the way, though. Um, let's see. What's your next in this? Yep, yep, there's very down there. We'd be jumping ahead, but it's not like I'm doing this on time. Now, uh, let's try doing some blues in this little seashell here. I wonder, I'll have to, yeah, I'll look into the derwent and see. I don't know, though. No guarantees. Um, where's the, no, not all the lighter ones. So... Let's do that azure again. Here we go. And blend some blues and oh, no, the greens aren't quite there for me. This blue I cannot pronounce. Avalon. Avalon. Let's see. Yeah, the color selection isn't too bad, and I think once I combine it with the ones from my 300 set, it would actually make a decent array of colors. I guess we're going to have to use lavender. I'm trying to find light colors that if I blend them, maybe this one will work. I don't want anything to take anything over, basically, where I'm going with that. Maybe the turquoise green. And I'm going to have to sharpen. See, so by the end of this, I would have sharpened them all anyways. But to be honest, I didn't know what I was going to stream till about 3 o'clock this afternoon. So there you go. Oh, is it turquoise? Blue? No, I'm looking for turquoise green. There it is. See, I haven't tried the Castle Art Metallics. Um, turn up my light a little. I totally forgot Castle Art had that set of metallics, but they do. I haven't tried them though. Are they kind of like similar in composition to the Castle Art Soft Touch projects? Um, I mean, I'm, I've never been a super big castle art fan, I won't lie. I feel like I needed one 
I need a pink, but I don't have it. What if I use, I just have that very red, but really lightly. They are smooth. Hmm. Well, this is probably the most metallic pencils I will ever buy. <laughs> I probably, I'll be honest, I probably won't try any other brands, but I mean, I might try the Derwent. Derwent ones out of curiosity, but yeah, um, I'm just not a big metallic gal. My Felissimo ones, I swatched, and then they went right back in the case, and that's where they've been. And the only reason they didn't go in the kids' pile was because that's probably the most expensive set of metallics I own, just because of the cost of the subscription. So, those ones will just sit there and look pretty. See, wouldn't this look good with a pink? It really would. It's like a purpley pink. Oh, yes. Uh, Castle Art is very overpriced. You know what sucks, though, is so when I first got Castle Art, I got the soft touch. They call them soft touch, but I call them the crumbly duskies, but um, those were my first experience with Castle Art, and they were too badly priced when those came out. And then out of nowhere, Castle Art decided that they were just going to try and be high-end by raising their price. <laughs> I don't know what they were doing. I was like, you know, just because you raised the price tag doesn't make it uh, artist grade. I don't know. But yeah, now I definitely say they're not worth the price um, at all. And even back then when I got those, I thought, wow, these are kind of pricey for what these are, but they were cheaper than what they are now. Uh, like when they came out with the Castle Art Gold, I got those. Um, and I actually don't mind the Castle Art Gold, except they are stupidly overpriced. I mean, I can't believe how much they tacked on to that thing. But yeah, Castle Art, uh, their pricing for their product is just not on point at all. And I'm not a big fan of their soft touch pencils, but the, the gold ones weren't too shabby. Let's see. I'm going to put down this one first, actually. I'm using this very red color, but I just want to use it really lightly so it's more pinkish than red. I don't know. It's a funky color. <laughs> like I said, this set just needs a pink. It wouldn't be that hard to make a metallic pink. And I think this one. Uh, I mean, I don't think Prismas are stupidly overpriced, but I'm probably not the person to ask because I will admit I'm incredibly biased. But they're a very good pencil, and considering the open stock price, they're really cheap to me. Um, compared to the others, but if you're buying the sets off of Amazon, just buyer beware because you may be getting crappy ones and don't hold it against Prisma because it's usually someone selling the rejects. It shouldn't be out on the market. But there was a good sale for Prime Day um, from a seller that's actually a good seller. Well, this is sort of blending together. I don't know. We've got like a bluish, purplish, tealish, greenish something going on. The 
again, it would be so nice to have a white pencil just on top of that, make it look like it's supposed to be. Let's have that little opaque thing going on. Yeah, I love my Prismas, so it's really hard for me to ever brush them. <laughs> Even when I get a crappy one, I'm like, it's okay, Prisma, I still love you. So, I mean, very, I, honestly, I go through pencils, Prismacolor pencils, so often, um, and I very rarely get a bad one. So, um, yeah, it's just about where you buy them. Like, I'm trying to think the last time I actually got an off-center one or one that was crumbly. And it's been a, it's been a hot minute, so. Good night, Erica. Thanks for coming. I don't think for the background on this one, but I don't know what to do. I might do a dark purple to bring it out. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I buy my open stock Christmas, though, from Blick and Jerry's. I don't have yet to have any issues. But gosh, like this weekend, because all these. Most of my Yana pages I showed you guys at the start of stream are the pencil ones or Prisma. And then I just have those two that are done. I think there was this this week. And uh, well, that's why I have a heat. Huge bucket of three utensils. Yeah, I, I I often joke that they're the best budget pencil, <laughs> but uh, I know like when you first look to buy the one fifty, you said you kind of get twelve if you buy um. 12 at once, open stock on, uh, what we'll call it, Blick. That's hella cheap compared to everything. What are my favorite metallic pencils? Metallic pencils. Um, these ones just caught my eye because I swatched them in that 300 set of colors and I was like, oh, these are. These are not crappy. Um, so yeah, I guess at the moment these are, but for everyone else, everyone else may have a different opinion, but I don't have a ton of metallic pencils within my repertoire. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to do the wood green would be kind of fun to make, wouldn't it? Let's grab this gray, because the gray, well, now I'm gonna have to use this crappy black too. Right. We're gonna make a wood grain with metallics. Actually, it'll be pretty easy because they have really good browns in here. Let me have them go. And then orange yellow. Let me make this little chest over here. Oh, that's when I bought them, Leslie. Prime day. Yay! It was, a good, it was like a decent enough sale to where I was like, all right, I'll do it. So again, I normally don't buy metallics. <laughs> so, like, yep. Yeah. I kind of remember what the price was. I mean, they're still freaky cheap now, but it was a really good deal from Prime Day, so. Please don't everywhere. Yeah, eighteen ish, that sounds about right. Yes, I love the brute pruner squares. Brute pruner one twenty squares. Absolutely love them. Um, I haven't been using them or recommending them as of late because they've been hard to get your hands on. I am curious to see how long they stay on Amazon though. They disappeared for quite a while there. Um, but yeah, I do like them. Uh, they're a really good pencil. I have uh, two tins of spares because I just would 
obviously you can't get them open stock. So I would buy the tins, but hopefully they stay on Amazon. They don't go ghosting us again. Yeah, I got my reasons for not going on Timu, 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 have tomato, tomato. Um, but that's just one gal. Yes, I know, at least um, someone just mentioned that above. <laughs> uh, and we were talking about it. Um, but yeah, they've been up there for a while. I'm just... I haven't bothered recommending them or like sharing it because I'm kind of waiting to see how long they stay or if they go disappearing again. So, but they are a good pencil. So if you're on the fence about the one fruit footer 120 squares, I think they're they're awesome. They're really fun. They are an oil based, but they are really soft. I like them. And honestly, I, I don't. For as cheap as they are, I've never really gotten any crappy ones. So, but yeah, I mean, the squares are great. I just, it really sucked when they went out for a while because I was like, they they gone forever? Because that's something you always risk with those super cheap, budgety pencils. <laughs> they just disappear one day, and you never know if they're coming back. But if you've been meaning to try them, go for it. Hopefully they have, like last time when they were abundantly on Amazon, um, they'll have like, they had a lot of lightning deals on them so you could get them even cheaper. But I have a feeling quite a few people have been waiting for them to come back to Amazon. So who knows how quickly they'll sell out. But I do have a review on my channel for them. And I think I did one hair tutorial, no, two hair tutorials with them, I think. It was, oh gosh, it was probably a year ago. It was requested, like when they had first come out, a lot of people wanted hair tutorials with them. Yeah, I think I have a pink hair tutorial and a blue hair tutorial. I don't know. I'm second guessing that. I know there's at least one. Let's see. The squares from AliExpress. Yeah, that's uh, another place to get them. Oh gosh, AliExpress. I remember I bought my 520s from them. And then mm, a month or two later, they finally popped on Amazon. But they're like the 520s aren't a bad pencil at all either. It's just a ridiculous number of pencils. <laughs> Uh, I actually gave all mine to my kids, so. Okay, right, I want this to be. Yeah, dude. But yeah, like the 520s were okay. They were totally full of filler, though. Um, You could just feel it in the pencil and as you went to, like, color with them and layer. But, I mean, hey, 520 pencils, and I think it came out to just a few cents per pencil back then and that was the price i don't know i can't remember what i bought them for the browns layer up nicely i got like a sparkly brown treasure treasure chest and i think a hundred dollars is good for the 520s i mean that's not a bad price um but at the same time, I, like I said, um, like I even say it in my review of the 520s, like nobody needs that many pencils. <laughs> um, if you already have a bunch of nice pencils or, you know, like, I mean, they'd be great for starting out, but I mean, kind of like these Color 300s. I mean, do I need those personally? No, because I've got all these other pencils that I bought them to review them, but 
Um, the 520s do have a lot of colors that are very close to one another, obviously, because there's only so much you can create. But the good news is if you run out of one mid coloring a page, its neighbor is probably close enough. No one will be the wiser. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, are you, are you, I guess it's up to you if you're actually going to use 520 pencils. Let's see. Do I need gold? But hey, the nice thing is I don't need to make gold because I have gold. This is the one and only time where I would use a metallic pencil to color gold. Although I actually like the gold better in my 300 set because this is like yellow. We use the gold and yellow. Yeah, like I got the 300 colors one because I was like, well, I got to see what this is all about. Um, and two, I was just curious uh, what the color pencils were like, because I hadn't purchased all the other sets up till then. And then they popped out with this one. And I was like, well, all right, <laughs> you've got me. I'll try it. Um, but yeah, I mean, like my thing is, is like with all these big sets, it's kind of like what what are you going to use it for? You know, like, I mean, my 520s, my kids have now. Um, and then after I do the review of the 300s, it won't be because it's a bad pencil. It's just I've got others I use and I would rarely use it. So, you know, I'll probably go to my kids or go in the D stash pile for subscribers. But I don't know, like for me, I tend to you know, I use my Prisma color, obviously, first and all the time. And then Black Widows, surprisingly, um, a lot. And then Pro Color, um, Pablo's, which surprises me. But I don't know. It's all personal preference. And I don't judge people either way. Uh, let's go do this. I don't know what color I want to do the, of that, but I don't want to do blue because I've already got like two blues hanging out there. This orange actually might be pretty fun. Where'd that one go? Oh, I love Kirby's books, but I need Kirby and Chunks. Yes, Hannah Carlson, love her new. little uh ones that are for kids but not really i mean they're, they're made for kids but i'm buying them and they're on good paper yes there's even some adult coloring books that are on crappy paper yeah i like i go through waves with hannah carlson i've noticed i have to be really in the mood to color her um and it kind of comes and goes I love her artwork. I'll buy her books because I know like there will be the that month where suddenly I'm just like all about Hannah. Oh, that's I think the orange works there. It's I'm not erasing it, that's for sure. Um all the color choices. Yeah, this octopus would be so cute. Pink. I want a pink. Um, coloring you oh, the new Marie Trollet. Yes, I do. I love her books. In fact, I have um my next completed pages will have some of hers. I've been like really on a Maria Trollet kick lately, but that's an prime example. Like I buy her books because I know I will get in the mood to color them eventually. <laughs> Um, like now, because I think, gosh, I took like a year off from coloring anything of hers. Oh, the space one. I've got them both sitting here next to me. I don't know why. Probably because I was too lazy to put them away. All right, we're going to try these. But yeah, I mean, like I buy, there's certain artists I just always buy their books. Because I know even if I'm not feeling it now, I will be eventually. 
And then there's some artists where honestly, I don't give a crap if I never color it. It's fine. It's, I just love their line art. I bought it for the art. In fact, I might do it injustice by coloring it. I like RJ Hampton art, um, but I don't like the paper, so I don't buy the books. Um, but love the art. But yeah, I don't own any of those ones just because of the paper. It's not a, I don't know. I'll end up buying a book with Create Space paper and tell myself it'll be all right, and then I never color in it. So. This one I'm trying to make in the shadow of this dark gray and then cover it up with a little silver. These are pretty opaque though, so like when you go to layer them, I have noticed like a kind of covers up a little. Not as opaque as like a Prisma, but I mean, even this silver like fills out my gray here, but I don't want to use that hideous black. <laughs> uh, this is ruined my night. Uh, Carl Sempere. I honestly don't have any of those. And I think of it. I mean, like I bought um, the Tomislav Tomic books, and honestly, I bought those just to look at. Sometimes I'll color in them, but those are kind of like one of the books where I'm like, well, if I if I never color in this book, I'm okay. <laughs> Love the art though; it's gorgeous. It's just it's a lot to take in. Very busy pages. I think I did like the treehouse one a few years ago. That wasn't too bad. Hi, Leslie. But yeah, like that's an example of an artist where I'll buy. Oh, there's no more Thomas Love Tomic books at the moment, but I mean, heck, it's hard enough to get the existing ones. But that would be one where I'm like, it's fine if I never color it. Um, gosh. I love Kirby's work, and even if I never color it, I would be okay. But I do go on waves with Kirby. His line art is just amazing. I can't think of anyone else. Ooh, like Linda Ravenscroft is another one. I get her books, but oh gosh, the gray scale is so beautiful. I think I've only colored like actually maybe three pages out of the six or seven books I've got. And she actually came out with another one, another book I need to snag. <laughs> but they come on really nice paper and they're autographed and spiral bound. So. The Night Garden one. I've seen flip throughs with that one. Really pretty work. But like I said, I just. Yeah, because I know it's on the Create Space paper, I just bother with it. Man, have you guys seen the price hike on um, all the books now? Like the ones on Create Space paper range from anywhere from seven to eleven. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's like eleven bucks! Holy crap! Some of them are, yeah, it's hard to justify that when you know what you're getting. But I know they were, I know the artists were like forced. Amazon made it clear they had to do a minimum, which is why a lot of artists did that sale just before, what was that? I think it was June 20th they had to do the price hike. But man, some, some of those price hikes, I'm just like, oof. So what sucks is the artists are really not profiting much off of each book like people think. So that's what really sucks. Um, I like Coco Wild, actually. I really do like the Coco Wild stuff, especially Chibi. Um, oh my gosh, the sweet desserts. They have some really, really cute stuff. Oh, uh, 
what's that witch's one? Crepola. Cute witches? Something like that? I don't know. I do like Coco Wild. Hate the paper. But really pretty stuff. It's about like an hour on a freaking pail. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's the problem now. It's really like back in the day, I would justify it that I was just going to scan it and put it on paper I liked. But now, I mean, at that price, you're just like, well. So, I mean, I, if, and when possible, I always go for the PDF, but not not all artists have PDFs. That's the problem. More are starting to, but yeah, I don't know. It's kind of surprising how few don't, considering you have to have it already, you know, in digital format to send it to Amazon Publishing. So it's always shocking. There's been quite a few Create Space books I've actually traded. Like, so I put them in my DSASH pile and bought the PDF edition. So I was just getting tired of scanning and printing because honestly, it gets old after a while. And especially if there's a book where you're like, gosh, I want to color every page. I mean, by the time you're done scanning and printing, <laughs> you've basically made your own artist edition for way more than you should have. This will make hmm. Let's make this one just a light purplish color and maybe turquoisey blue. A tiny, tiny little shell. But yeah, like all my Yana Prosperina books, I traded in, and then I'm going to trade in all my. Uh, Hannah Lynn ones for the artist edition because I really like the artist edition. The paper is amazing. I didn't realize it was so nice. She sent me the one to try. I was like, wow, this paper is like, oh, so definitely worth it. And they're really not that badly priced. Uh, her artist edition book. Let's see. Uh, dark, dark color. I think what color I want to do for this one. Very dark. I feel like some of these turn out pretty dark compared to the ones like in my 300 set. They feel lighter, but again, smaller boxes. And some of these colors are quite similar, just different names. But I'm trying to think. I'm going to do like this. Oh my god, we'll do the lavender. Yeah, so some of them have high prices for their PDF books. Um, but for PDFs, create space version or her artist edition versions the best way to get a handle in pdf is her web and like become a patreon because then you get like a, a cute <laughs> like i've actually gotten a few free pdf books using the coupon code um her Etsy is good for like if you need to ship internationally, but her website you can also go on to. And then she does have sales. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What do I want to color next? Let's try this little perk little gal. But I mean, my thing is, is like a lot of these artists don't make a ton of money on Amazon, which is where they're m widely distributed. So it's kind of hard for them. Like, so their Etsy ones, they charge more, but that's where they actually, you know, finally make a decent profit versus the Amazon printed ones.
mean, I can tell you Etsy also has a crap ton of bees that are just not a pool. <laughs> like I have an Etsy store and honestly, like the fees, I like, I feel like I get a service charge for everything. It's like, okay, how much of my money are you guys paying to take? That's the problem with Etsy. Really tan fairy. Yeah, I'd rather give it to the artist than Amazon. But like I said, you don't make much off of Amazon. Um, I mean, to be a seller in general on Amazon, you pay a monthly fee, and then you pay your percentages. It's you, you get pretty hosed on it. <laughs> But it is a place where you're widely distributed and it can be like internationally distributed a lot easier. So it's the place to go because, I mean, think about it. We all go to Amazon for all of our stuff. Check Amazon first. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I was kind of curious, though, like when Amazon's... Um, did the price hike for create space paper I was like okay that one i don't get <laughs> at least give me some better paper good night stephanie the etsy fees for any etsy store are quite uh, outrageous but again similar to amazon it is a platform where everyone goes so there you go you know um but yeah i mean so you pay a fee just to put up a listing on etsy and then you pay a service fee per sale and then yeah it's just, it's just by the end of it you're like i think i profited <laughs> that's how i feel every time i look at their little thing i'm like did i use money i don't know Oh, and the worst is if you accidentally let something sell out, then you got to renew it and pay again. So this, this, I like this. Yeah, put it back in. It's Neptune. One thing is, like, I have this swatch chart off to the side of me. So, like, when it's sitting flat and hitting, hitting the light, some of these colors look even sparklier. But then when you lift it up, they look kind of dull. <laughs> You're like, oh. Good night. Oh, yeah, postage is nuts. Um, although USPS uh, came out with this new, like, ground shipping option. Um, they just launched it on our Etsy stores. And I was like, oh, this is nice because it's, it's cheaper, but still ships pretty, pretty quick, considering. That was a... Uh, Nice that the postal service gave us that option because, yeah, shipping is outrageous. Holy schmoly. Like, anytime I go to sell or, like, not sell, ship something um, that I have physically in my possession, you know, for a giveaway, I'm like, oh my gosh, the shipping. Like, even the book B stash using um, the fixed or the flat rate boxes, those are still expensive in the end. You could use media mail if you weren't shipping in bulk, but because I'm doing a whole bunch of um, books at once, can't do that. Yeah, I can't believe how much they charge to ship things. That's why I try to always buy something that can be shipped straight from the company I'm buying it from, <laughs> so I'm not paying to ship it. This might work. These aren't gonna look like iridescent wings. They're just gonna be blue. Ooh, a light, light blue metallic. That's what this would really benefit from too. Although it looks like in a 300 set, there's one that's slightly lighter. Maybe by the end of this countdown calendar, 
I will have figured out how to color with metallic pencils. Maybe. Doing very basic blends here. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how this is going to look. They have a light blue. Is it kind of like a, a sky blue type of light blue? So that's what I'm itching for here is just like a nice, nice light, light bright blue. I'm a bummer is I feel like I have to kind of press hard so I can get the actual glitter effect out of the pencil. So if you leave it a light layer, you just don't get that same shimmery effect with these. But again, that's why I think these would look really cool on a mandala. Yeah, because if it was like a nice uh, bright sky bluish type of thing, that'd be really good. That's definitely what this set could use. And I don't think that would be hard to make in a metallic. Got like a million metallic pencils off to the side here. <laughs> like you guys only see a couple, but there's like basically only a few left in their actual trays. So let's see. I think we'll do no. I have that one there. The colors. Okay. I'll add a little flower in her hair while I debate the rest because I don't want to do purple hair again because I did purple hair. Maybe I'll do, you know, I can't do that color either. Maybe I'll do one of the like red, red violet colors. I've got. Here it is. Just like I'm missing or need that one. And then also like one slightly darker blue. Because this is the darkest one so far in this set. I could layer it with the gray and make it darker, but who wants to do that? It's not bad. Let me zoom out so we can see what I have accomplished today, tonight, aside from swatching these. <laughs> oh my goodness, my zoom is like really touchy today. Got mic problems, I got cameras. So, I mean, we swatched these today and they're not too bad. Um, I'll definitely be doing the comparison though. Of the ones from the 300 set but yeah i think i really these aren't going to be too bad to color this whole thing with i mean from afar they don't even look like metallics of course but and then with the lighting in here i guess they don't look like metallics either but they have a nice little shimmer maybe the light kind of catches it but yeah it's almost it seriously reminds me like these pencils remind me of um like if I just put some Linka Stella over everything. So that's kind of the shimmery effect that it has. No rush, no rush on that. I was just curious. Um, but yeah, I think because it's been over two hours and my back is yelling at me, I'm going to call it a night. But I got a few days worth in. I've got quite a few left to go, though. <laughs> so bye. But... I am going to call it an evening. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Thursday night. And I will be streaming on Sunday at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, noon. Eastern will be backgrounds, but who knows? I may, I may change. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, need to, I don't know what's going on. But thank you all. I hope you have a good evening and, and I will see you guys.